Hello, my name is Luke Lau, subject coordinator for ACM 2003 Interactive Programming at Victoria University. Now this is the first video in our series of videos about the basics of audio in Adobe Flash. Now in this video we're going to cover the basics of finding free sound files on the internet. Now not all sound files on the internet are for free. Um, you may be able to download them, but you might not be able to use them for commercial projects. So when downloading sound files, you need to make sure of the license and make sure the license allows you to actually distribute it to the internet um, for commercial purposes. Now, the reason why we're actually saying commercial purposes and not educational is because some of the students in this class will actually be using these assignments for commercial purposes. Um, and we'll actually be choosing some and paying students um, for their work to be distributed around the world. Now, because of that, you need the commercial AOK. -okay. Now, a site that I like going to and I've been using uh, for the last couple of years is soundsnap.com. Soundsnap.com. And basically, it allows you to browse through 100,000 um, sound files, really high quality, and, um, and look through and download what you need. Now, they actually have sound effects, loops, and full songs. Now, previously, you could actually log into this site and download as many as you want, but because of the high costs of running a server and the bandwidth um, that it requires to run this site, they've restricted users to actually downloading five tracks per month. Now, that's going to be perfectly fine for our projects. You're not going to need more than that. But if you do need more than that and want to purchase a, a better subscription or a better package from them, please do so. Um, not only will you be getting more sound files per month, but you're also supporting a really good project. Okay, now once you've actually um, searched for a file, now I've already done a search for drum and bass loops, um, you'll be presented with a screen like this, which is the result screen. Now it shows you what the WAV file looks like, it allows you to preview the track, it tells you how many times it's been downloaded, the average rating, if anyone's left any comments, but it also allows you to download the files in a variety of formats. Now in this instance, you can only download it as an MP3 file and a WAV file. Because the AIF file is um, transparent, you can't download it as that format. Now, for this subject, I'm going to recommend that students download it as an MP3 file, um, just simply because MP3 files are typically 12 times smaller than WAV files. Therefore, a little bit easier on our bandwidth limits and a lot better for us to actually transport. Okay, now, if you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your tutor or post it up on the bulletin board and someone uh, will actually answer that for you. Um, I hope to see you in the next tutorial and thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.